and I'm Marlene with HOA Fight Club. Today we'd like to discuss Senate Bill 5024. This bill allows for investors to take shortcuts when it comes to um, building enclosures for getting permits and inspections done. So if the condo has less than 10 units and is no more than two stories high, they don't have to do the proper things to get the permits and inspections done. And permits and inspections are really, really important. Um, these people, the city goes through, they make sure everything's up to code, they double check everything and triple check everything. And if you don't have the inspections done, how do you know that condo is being built right? We shouldn't be allowing <clears throat> our legislators to take shortcuts or our investors to take shortcuts, but the legislators should want us to protect um, the citizens and make these laws stronger, not weaker. So in enacting Senate Bill 5024, we will lose protections that we have right now um, to make sure that everything is permitted and up to code. We already know that property managers and boards will skip getting permits if they know that they can get away with it. So when they put the new roofs on my building um, at my condo association, they did not get any permits or inspections done. Well, you know, six, seven years later, we have so much water intrusion and mold and they forgot to hook the dryer vents up to the to the roofs again. So all the um, dryer moisture was blowing. The tubes were just blowing aimlessly into the attics. So all the attics had to be redone. The roofs had to be redone. There's a lot of things that are having to be redone in that property. And, you know, the, the board is trying to sue for wind-driven rain damage. But what it comes down to is the board or didn't do its fiduciary duty and getting the permits and the inspections done. So now our legislators are trying to make this a permanent thing. Um, and I'm not sure that the legislators are trying to um, represent their constituents or whether they're just trying to profit from the lobbyists and the people that pay into their campaigns. Because I would think that anytime that you go to um, delete a, an inspection that is required by law, you're doing this because there's a reason. They're not just doing this because they don't like inspections. They're doing this because they want to take shortcuts and they they know that in the long run they won't have to pay for their shortcuts because there's no warranties in these condo associations so when you purchase there's no warranty that your building's going to stay standing there's no warranty um, that the resale cert was correct so if you get a fraudulent resale cert like I did the government could care less they don't care that the boards and the attorneys and the property managers are lying to the people before our purchasing um, you would think that with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau that we would have rights to be protected and that's not the case. So HOAs and condo associations should never ever take any shortcuts ever ever because the people that pay for it in the long run is the people that buy into these associations and it's not fair because we are not considered first party claimants when it comes to insurance. So the board makes all the decisions. If they don't want to fix your um, unit, they don't have to fix your unit and they don't have to fix it in a timely manner. Um, when I had the water intrusion in my home, it started pretty much when we moved in in 2014 and they never, ever fixed it ever ever. It's still not fixed. They let somebody else buy into that unit without redoing the windows and the doors and the walls. So now these new people bought into this association thinking they're getting this beautiful condo and they're going to have a special assessment at some point. They're going to have to pay for the damages that the board um, has allowed to occur in the last few years. So why would our legislators put us into more jeopardy when we purchase into these associations? And you should do your research. Make sure that you have... Um you know where who built that um, association, who built that condo, because it's going to come down to when I looked at who did the roofs for my condo association, there was two separate builders and both of those builders did not get permits. They were built in three separate years. So at any time they could have gone back and gotten the permits, but they decided to hide it. Um, and then in the long run, the people that pay for it is you the consumer, not the lobbyists, not the legislators, but you, you will pay for it. Not the developer, not the investors, 
but you. You will pay for all damages in that condo. So prior to purchase, make sure that you really check into what inspections have been done, what um, permits have been pulled, um, and I would advise not buying into a condo association if they pass these laws because these laws will only hurt people in the long run and you need to tell your legislators no more stop putting us in jeopardy for your own personal gain all right i'll see you on the next one